Today was our first full day in El Shatan with Southern Explorations. We left bright and early for our hike. We had a 30 minute drive to the trailhead where we would start our hike through Glacier National Park. The plan was to hike 13 miles round trip to the iconic Mount Fitzroy Base Camp while gaining 2,000 feet in elevation. The weather was questionable, however, the wind didn't feel as fierce as it looks. Once we entered the National Park, we caught a glimpse of our first glacier of the entire trip. It was massive, and right below it sat a beautiful glacial lake with waterfalls pouring into it. We took way too many pictures, and it got us really excited for our glacier trek that we'd be taking a few days later. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, yesterday I finally gave in and bought some pretty cool boots. Around this time, it started raining pretty hard, so our guide Roberto made the executive decision to skip the harsh, steep hike to the base camp, knowing we wouldn't be able to see Mount Fitzroy. Instead, we continued on the loop trail looking for a pretty lunch spot. My favorite part of this hike was walking through this valley. I loved the long footbridge and the grass blowing in the wind. We were surrounded by mountains with more glaciers, but they weren't as blue as the first one we saw. Then our guide Guido said their Spanish name translates to dirty glaciers. We found a great spot by a lake to eat our lunch. It was still raining, which made us feel a lot better about skipping the trek to the base camp. Our hotel had packed us a much needed lunch and we spent about 30 minutes resting our legs, soaking in the views and the rain. One of my favorite things about this trek is how it was organized. That's the road we drove in on. That means that we drove to the trailhead in one direction and we got to walk back to the city in another direction, so we did zero backtracking on this entire trek. Roberto pointed out a little house in the valley. He said the first settlers of El Shatan lived there and ended up living there for 50 years and it is still in their family four generations later. We ended the day with hot coffee and a beautiful view from our hotel. Despite the rain, we still had a great time in the mountains, especially since we were in good company. 